Boy, age four, accidentally buys $2.6 thousand dollars worth of SpongeBob popsicles on Amazon. You know what? <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Who cares? That's great investment. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jacob. Welcome to Kids Are Stupid. Well, we're gonna be looking at kids who are stupid. It's it's as simple as that. Kids being stupid. <laughs> Enjoy it. For someone I've had to physically restrain from eating dog poop, my son is awfully particular about which grapes he's going to eat. Ah, you know what? I can't hate on him though, because if the grape isn't perfect, then I'm not eating it. If it's mushy in any way, it goes. <laughs> Maybe for this kid, you could cover the grape with dog poop, and then he would eat it. Ah, think about that one. <laughs> I was knitting on the subway, and a four-year-old girl sitting next to me asked about my knitting, and I told her I always knit on the subway. And she said, so you sleep here? And then she licked the subway window and said, everyone is afraid of something. That is weird. That is like the start of a horror movie. <laughs> oh, apparently we got a future soccer player right here. Is he, there's no football anywhere, so I don't know how he's gonna... Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a free kick penalty right there, get him one quick. If I lived in a castle, I would be the janitor. My name would be Dash, it would be my job to clean and do magic. I would look like... Ah, I hate my job. <laughs> Why? Bro, you could be anything you want and you want to hate your job? Why? What? My four-year-old brother told me he was scared to grow up and cried for like 10 minutes straight. Finally, I asked him why he was so scared. And he said he was scared of drinking coffee. I coffee. <laughs> yeah, well, coffee is an addiction. Most people are addicted to it if they drink it, so don't drink it. <laughs> oh, no. What's the matter? With my mouth. Was your mouth? So it's my uh -oh. mouth. I have to do it. I have, I have takeaways. Oh, you gotta do the takeaways? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the problem? Um, you have to help me with my mouth. Okay. Is it, Tell me what the mouth is. Yeah, come on, say um, it, kid. Oh, here's one. Five takeaway five. Five takeaway five. And how much do you think that is? Well, at least we know he's going to be failing his homework because he thinks five takeaway five is five. It's zero, kid. Come on. <laughs> My nephew wanted a portrait of George Washington. Thank goodness he didn't want a portrait of Benjamin Franklin. True. Yeah, you know, it's just a dollar. Just a dollar. I mean, you can get it back, right? And he's got a portrait now. <laughs> Bought a Costco sheet cake because I figured we could use some cheer around here. Toddler completely freaked out, demanding to know whose birthday it was. I explained, you can just buy a cake when you want if you're grown up, etc. Long back and forth, eventually agreed it's my birthday. Alright, yep, it's cake equals birthday, okay? Oh no. No, no. <laughs> yeah, you better run. You better run fast, kids. <laughs> Does every kid do this to learn? Like, they do it once and then they get told off so bad that they never do it again? Or do you just get taught not to do it? Because I feel like I've never broken a TV to that extent, because I've always been told, you don't touch the TV. So, how does this kid do that? Why does that kid do that? <laughs> the Polar Express hot chocolate scene. Oh. Yeah, I used to think this movie was a live action and that people who lived in Europe looked like this. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I can confirm everyone in Europe looks exactly like these guys. They're just weird looking. <laughs> so evidently, our 13 year old thought pre-Madonna meant anyone born before Madonna, i.e. pre-Madonna. Please send oxygen, we cannot stop laughing. <laughs> to be fair, that's like, you know, BC and AD, we just use Madonna this time. <laughs> oh, is this the, is th this is the garlic thing. He really wanted it, right? <laughs> no, don't. Don't do it. He was crying that she wouldn't let him eat it. But he's just gonna cry more when he eats it. Oh. Yep, there you go. There you go. 
you can't take it out. You can't. You just have to cry. Yeah, just cry. Yeah, there you go. Just cry. <laughs> Dear Dar, today I learned my one curse word. Bich. Bich. <laughs> Dear Dar, I just learned the F word. It is... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, they learned that one. Okay. <laughs> my son just asked me if I could take a picture of him while he sleeps so he could see the little Zs that come out of your nose when you sleep. True. I mean, that's pretty easy. You just take a picture and Photoshop some Z's coming out of his nose, and then boom, he'll be able to see them. <laughs> My sister saw two unaccompanied little children in a trench coat giggling amongst themselves yesterday, and I am absolutely hell. <laughs> Wait a sec, what do you mean, two little kids? I just see one, like, fully grown adult here. <laughs> In case you're wondering how homeschooling is going, my six-year-old asked me if snakes have long necks or long tails. Please help. Oh, well, I mean, that's a good question, to be fair. I think it's tail. I, I think tail. <laughs> I mean, really, it's torso, but yeah, tail is probably longer than neck. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It's this one again. <laughs> Why do we put gas in our car? Because. Because mm. what? Because that's the difference. Ah. And you have your gas. Cause you run out of gas. Cause yeah. Period. <laughs> okay, good job. Sure, <laughs> that works. Why does it snow? Because it, I love snow. Ah. It snows because you love snow. Yeah. So you control the weather. Yeah. How you do that? Oh. I'm a wizard. Oh. Okay, go ahead, purr, Miss Wizard. Okay, good job. That works too. Oh. Are you? See what Tony thinks. Yeah. How many letters are there in the oh, alphabet? Easy one. E R A T Y. <laughs> What's that spell? <laughs> I don't know my name. <laughs> All right. Cl close enough. <laughs> Four year old, can we get a kitten? Me, I'm allergic, so we can't be in the same house. Four year old, well, you could sleep outside. True. Hey, they're not wrong. They've got a point. <laughs> oh. How much is this, bro? Oh, the price is on it, buddy. Two dollars. <laughs> to be fair, it did say two dollars really big. <laughs> Loved the age where you could look up paranormal stuff and have no gauge of what's real or fake. So you're just like, oh my god, a ghost got on tape and no one is talking about this? Ten year old me, after seeing the grainiest picture imaginable of a figure in a cemetery. You see that right there? That's real. That thing is real. <laughs> Today we asked my three-year-old cousin how much he weighs, and he said, uh, like 50 squirrels. Aha, he's gonna grow up to be a great American right there. <laughs> she thought this was white water. <laughs> I mean, technically it is white water, just a bit thicker than water, and probably will stain a bit more, right? <laughs> Apparently, my son flips off this truck every day on his way to school. What? what? Look at the kid. He just like runs out. He's like, all right, I gotta tell this guy. Yeah, get away. T H A N K Y E W Y O U. Oh. I mean, yeah, it is a trash can, but no. <laughs> My cousin just posted this picture of his son. Look how excited and proud he is of where he put all the carrots. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, though, to be fair. I mean, you're gonna have to wash all the carrots again, but it's pretty impressive. <laughs> it has been zero days since my six-year-old used a black permanent marker to write her name on a brand new piece of white furniture. Nice. Do not buy white furniture. There you go. <laughs> you know what's wild? Remembering that children hear things for the first time without context and are literally like, what? I just said, see you later, alligator, to a four-year-old, and I think it was the first time they have ever heard it. They froze in their tracks, looked at me completely bewildered, then replied, see you later, chicken, and kept walking. <laughs> My friend's four-year-old put on a backyard puppet show for me, the sole audience member. Halfway through the show, she asked me if I liked it, and I replied, I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm on the edge of my seat. Hearing this, she carefully put down her puppets, came over to where I was sitting, and explained, you can use the whole seat. It's more comfy. Ah. <laughs> I hate this house. One of the kids ate my wing and tried to replace it. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Hey, wait a sec, why didn't the kid just eat the one that he replaced it with? Hmm? Hmm? If it's the same thing. <laughs> Things my fourth grader searched for on his Chromebook this week at school. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, what to do if a giraffe eats you? When is Squirrel Appreciation Day? <laughs> Help, I'm in a tsunami. What dis and how to lava-proof my house in real life. Oh, yeah, that, that last one you're gonna need, because if lava comes into your house, what's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, no. I am glad the three-year-old next door gave my car racing stripes. The added Sharpie has increased the speed of my car tenfold. Yeah! <laughs> That's the great thing about having a car you don't really care about. Like, if you, like, damage it a bit, who cares? <laughs> The fart that killed everyone. Oh, that sounds like a nice book. You should make a sequel. The fart that killed everyone? Two. Oh, nice. I don't think you can do that twice. Maybe, actually. Time travels. <laughs> if you like that video and you want to see more like it, then click on screen right now. And if it says red, subscribe down below. It shouldn't say that. It should be gray with subscribe, duh, ED. So click, please, and click another one. Nice. <laughs>